In today's video, we will see, Troy Landry is now about 63, how the lives is sad. At the end of video, I am going to reveal Troy and Pickle Wheat relationship secret. So, watch this video till the end. Let's get started. The 2010 television premiere of the reality drama series Swamp People gathered well over 3.1 billion viewers. Since then, it has been one of the History Channel's most seen shows, often beating previous watching records. Troy Landry, the three generations of family, and his alligator hunting friends are the main heroes in the story. It started out as Troy Landry's little side project and has now expanded into the core of a sizable business with spin-offs for other products Landry sells. American star Troy Adam Landry first gained notoriety on the History Channel on August 22, 2010, when his reality series Swamp People aired. He went to the Louisiana swamps as a third-generational citizen with his family. On September 6, 1960, he was born and spent his childhood there. Troy's proud parents, Duffy and Myrtle Landry, have frequently appeared on his show. Duffy and Myrtle Landry, who are over the typical retirement age, continue to work in order to maintain their standard of living and to have a joyful life with their grandchildren. His family has lived in the area for many generations and is well known for their ability in alligator hunting. The one thing that has set Troy Landry's career apart is his alligator hunting expertise. He has gone on alligator hunting excursions with his father and grandparents ever since he was a little boy. Following that, he started going alligator hunting professionally which allowed him to expand his skills and expertise. In 2010, Troy rose to national prominence because to the History Channel's reality TV series Swamp People, which followed him and his family throughout Louisiana's annual alligator hunting season. Troy's prominence rose along with the success of the program. Because of his work as a gator killer and his TV celebrity fame, Troy has developed a dedicated fan base among the show's audience. Others are still motivated by his love of the nature and passion to what he does. Troy has used his fame to stand up for moral hunt practices and the value of ecology. His accomplishments in the workplace are proof of his commitment, expertise, and love of crocodile hunt. He is still a well-liked show personality and an eager gator enthusiast. Because excessive hunting is avoided by a 30-day legal alligator hunting season, the whole series is intriguing. Thus, in order to sustain their family for a whole year, those engaged in this now commercial activity need to kill or catch enough alligators during the month-long hunting season. Since there is intense competition, everyone must step up. While Troy Landry was fortunate enough to catch 82 alligators in a single day on one occasion, most days produce between 30 and 40 gators, because the tribes who hunt alligators have been doing it for a very long time. The techniques for doing so have been passed down through the years. Given that hunts gators is, at best, a very severe hobby that not many people seek and that Troy Landry has effectively established a sizable business and amassed a sizable net worth by hunting what are thought to be dangerous reptiles but actually exist in large numbers on the U.S. mainland, it is not surprising that the hunters on the show have become celebrities. Bernita Landry is an educator and Troy's wife. Chad and Jacob Landry are the couple's two children. Bernita also works as an academic channel promoter. Troy chooses his clothes based on his wife's personal fashion and style. She puts her creative skills to work choosing his attire and makes an eye-catching entrance for the performance. Troy normally wears a black and white striped polo shirt when he comes gator hunting because he believes that alligators are grateful in some manner. Troy Landy and Bernita are lovingly wed and have a stunning home made of pine hardwood. Troy provided his wife a separate kitchen while he enjoys cooking. He doesn't want his Louisiana cookery to encroach on her personal space. Troy doesn't have to worry about ruining his wife's kitchen when he can go crazy in his own. The Landrys have a large family space in their well-planned roomy house. Troy is a passionate hunter who enjoys flaunting his kills. Visitors are treated to fascinating exhibits such as an 11-foot alligator head and 14 mounts of deer with white tails. The Landrys are pleased with their progress. They had lived in a mobile home 
for the first 30 years of their union, but they were comfortable in their newly built home. Pickle and Troy have a strong connection, although this does not really indicate an extended family relationship. As per the information provided on Pickle's Facebook page, she started dating Troy's oldest son, Chase Landry. Pickle met Troy and obtained a job as a deckhand, most likely via this relationship. Consequently, rather of being based on biological links, their closeness is based on interactions between people. Pickle claims that going hunting with her sibling Eddie Wheat and Chase makes her feel her best. This realization emphasizes even more how interconnected their lives are outside of the swamp. The playful conversation between Pickle and Troy aboard the boat appears to be well received by the crowd. Some individuals believe that they are physically connected, which may have something to do with their obvious chemistry. One follower joked, Lol Troy nearly turned overboard his boat with him and Pickle, suggesting that Pickle and Troy made people from the swamp laugh. Troy's followers and family are ecstatic to learn of his continued existence. In an earlier Facebook video update, Jacob Landry, his son, said that his father had been confirmed to have cancer of the prostate and was now being treated at home after getting released from his hospital stay. In the video, Jacob said, he's becoming progressively better each day. He had his prostate removed. After looking over the test results, they think they have ruled out everything. Jacob said that Troy was attempting to stay far ahead of the gator season since they were granted permission for a 16th season of Swamp People. He also thanked the fans for their encouraging remarks. In the video's comments area, Troy said he felt much better and appreciated his supporters. Troy thinks this is wonderful news. In addition to his notoriety from television, Landry gains a lot from his unique French accent, in-depth familiarity of the marsh, and endearing disposition. Millions of people all throughout the globe admire him because of these attributes. Landry's reputation among alligator hunters becomes stronger with every episode, but it's crucial to realize that Troy Landry has accomplished more than just being well-known from television. His family has a big impact on his success. He surely has the necessary knowledge and experience from his vast background to properly navigate Louisiana's dangerous bay waterways. The estimated net worth of Troy Landry is $3.1 million. One of the most well-known alligator hunting celebrities on television, Troy Landry's wealth appears to know no limitations. He has started many enterprises with success. Fans love him for his distinct skill set and endearing demeanor. Looking forward to every new Swamp People episode. I hope you enjoy the video.